what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm gonna to be watching some more vampire diaries this is season four episode eight and it's called we all go a little mad sometimes uh so just before we start this episode i wanted to mention something in the last reaction but i forgot um but the thing is like i don't understand what is with all the secrets between all of them like they could have just told each other and then like been like Shh, don't tell Klaus that you know, you know? Like, come on, you sh you're just keeping secrets and creating tensions and it's annoying. Like, I get that you don't want to get Elena's hopes up, I get that. But you're getting your own hopes up anyways, so you might as well just tell her. I don't know. Anyways, let's just get into this episode. Can't sleep. <laughs> being haunted like what Go she on. killed your ass say it because you're dead yes can you ghost do this <laughs> What am I gonna say to him? Thanks for not ditching the family ring after it drove her crazy. <laughs> Should have called Stefan. I don't want to talk to him. He's been lying to me and hiding things from me. He compelled Jeremy to forget God knows what. I don't trust him right now, Damon. Which is fucked up hey. because he's your boyfriend. I called Stefan. <laughs> what happened? Why did you call me? I just, I need, I don't want your help right now, Stefan. But you'll accept Damon's? Don't make this about Damon. You've been working with Klaus, doing God knows what, and don't insult me by trying to deny it. Listen, it's not what you think, okay? I don't know what to think. I stabbed him in the neck last night, so forgive me if I'm not in the mood to listen to you try to talk your way out of this. She just tell the truth. Ah. What well, don't ever uh, interrupt. Okay. I didn't know you were here. You brought your stuff. Old laptop, your jersey, the charm bracelet. Care. This isn't a good time. Just take it. Fell for it? you bought it. Oh, I bought it. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up that he was here, Haley. You girls are good liars. <laughs> Hallucination started yet. What do you know about that? I'll tell you. Where are you? The Manor House. How convenient. If you prevent Tom from fulfilling his destiny, then he'll take you down with him. What do you mean, Connor's dead? I mean, Connor's death won't prevent him from making Elena his final vampire kill. Oh. She'll need to come with me now. Well, then what about I'll you? Lock her up. Keep her away you from any five sharp of them. objects. She's not going anywhere with you. If you didn't die. Alone, she'll take her own life before the day is out. I'm rotting in an unmarked grave because of you. Who is? No. Who is? What's wrong? Really? Lena. Lena. What if I told you I saw the beginning of a mark like Connor's? Are you serious? It showed up after he died. So what does that make you like the next chosen one or something? Well, guess again, pal. Hey, guys. Hey, April. Look at let her do the heavy secretly work. secretly buffy. wandering the hallways with this. Atticus. Thank you, guys, what a for weird helping. Night. I really appreciate it. But I can't ask Shane for help. He knows everything about everything. Great. So it's like you another class? Where are you going? I'm going to get her back. Even with the added bonus of not being able to trust him. I'm not going to kill myself. I would never do that. Oh, but you'll want to. I did. Problem is, I'm immortal. You went through this? Yes, I did. For 52 years, four months, and nine days. How did you make it stop? I didn't. Eventually, it just stopped. Are you telling me that Chris isn't sired anymore? That's exactly what he's telling you. 
Good old Chris. Clothes? To tell the truth. I am telling the truth. You're lying. Fine. I liked it. I love the taste of your blood. Are you happy? I'm not happy, Elena. I'm dead. They died because of you. Ah, oh, fuck off. And I'm not gonna stop until you've taken your last miserable breath. Kill yourself. You never wanted to be a vampire in the first place. Now look at what you've become. You don't want to listen to me? Fine. And how about you and I have a little chat? Catherine? Do you miss me? I mean, you don't really, Catherine, but... Oh my god, I missed you! You're a Now, legend says that Silas did the spell with the help of a lady witch who loved him. A woman named Ketsia. Sadly for Ketsia, Silas wanted to give immortality to another woman. So Ketsia killed her and buried Silas alive, leaving him powerless. Talk about a woman to school. Immortal. <laughs> what does Stefan think of the new you? Shut up. The girl he fell in love with is gone, you know. You're like me now. Maybe worse. <laughs> I made a mistake. I can do better. No. When Stefan knew the real me, he hated me. That's okay. She is Damon. I was gonna hate you too. But at least you still have Damon. Shut up! Missing all the adventure, pal. You mean to mean a dream? Do you know anything about the hunter's curse? Why, well, got a dead hunter in the trunk of your car or something? Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> Until... Until the new hunter's awakened and their legacy is passed on. Oh, so for 50, 53 years or whatever, Listen, I have a bunch of there was no... Why don't I go grab it for you? That'd there was no hunter, hey, and thanks. there was another one. And that's why it just went away. To cloud. How are we supposed to find a potential hunter? Yeah, about that. Little Gilbert. I want you to give Elena back. They sent you to sweet talk me. Well, good form, but I'm afraid I can't do it. I'll just know that if Tyler was still sired to me, he never would have hurt you. Um. Your girlfriend. Um, about her. I need you to bite her. But you made him bite her. I wouldn't have let him. Can I what? at least offer you a drink? <laughs> yeah, until Klaus sends one of his other hybrids after me. Haley and I got your back. We'll make sure nothing happens. Her mom was turned into a vampire because of you. You know, she probably secretly hates you. Did you ever think of that? She I does. bet she'd be relieved if you were gone. I'm not okay. gonna kill myself. Ugh, why not? You know, it just occurred to me that while I'm editing this, I had a thought. I've seen up until episode 12 at the moment. So my question is, what would have happened if the hunter ghost thing person, I don't know, turned into Damon and told her to kill herself? Would she have done it with the sire bond? You know? That's just a question that I'm curious about. Obviously, she ends up, you know, attempting suicide at the end of the episode anyways, but would she have done it a lot quicker? Would she have argued? Like, what? No, 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 stay, stay away from me. I don't know why they're trying to get her out of here. Like, Lena, stop. Like, Klaus was just trying to help, but she was safer in there, honestly. I don't get it. We figured out how to help her. You need to kill a vampire. Oh, great. Give me a stick. I'll kill Damon right now. Easy. <laughs> I'll we'll get you one. Don't worry. Before you do this, you need to know what you're getting yourself into. Listen, you go find her, all right? Class Talk with the right idea. Listen to you. Just tell me what I need to do to end this. Distract you so that Stefan could go to your house and break her out, which he did. And don't get mad, but then he lost her. Klaus? Caroline. You're beautiful, but if you don't stop talking, I will kill you. They figured out how to stop the hallucinations. I don't know. They should have just left her in the room. You have to. It's okay, sweetie. Okay, if this was your real mum, she wouldn't tell you to kill yourself. I'm just saying. That's right. 
And you some will come up, and this will all be over. I can't do this. I can't leave Jeremy. Jeremy is better off without you. Don't you see that? But Mom, he won't have anyone. He'll have you. He'll be this a ghost is... who helps him, not a. I'd a be like, who hurts my him. mom would never tell me. Take your muscle. You're not her. You're Mommy, I didn't mean to disappoint you. You didn't. You were everything I ever wanted you to be. But you died. It didn't take a genius to figure it out. Third time's a charm. You were right, Damon. Vampires kill people. You know, I'm just, I'm thinking about this. And it's just, it's just occurred to me that this is kind of very similar to the Buffy episode of Men's. I mean, they already had an episode very similar, like, to that in season one. But, like, with the ghost, uh, like, haunting the person, like, haunting said person. I'm trying not to spoil anything, like, specifically. Um, and then, like, the... The vampire wanting to kill themselves because the ghost is, you know, meddling with them. And then, like, someone comes and and talks them out of it. Like, it's all, you know, very similar. I don't know. Um, I hope that I didn't spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen the show. Um, I tried to not really miss anything that was spoilery, I guess. But, um... Can definitely see the parallels. Going somewhere. When I said don't let her out of your sight, what did you think I meant? It's not his fault. Tyler's covering for me. I'm the one that let her go. No. You want someone dead? Go ahead. Kill me. I'd rather die anyway than end up as one of your She's side trying really bitches. hard to not don't have an Australian accent, available. but I can totally hear it. <laughs> Jeremy? We need to get you inside. Damn it, Elena. What the hell, man? I'm sorry. Fish it out of the river for you. Little tip. Vampires hate to swim. Oh, hold on. That's actually so sweet. Okay? Because, like, okay, it seems like not that big of a deal. But that's a fucking tiny ass ring in a river type thing. Like, that would be fucking hard to find. He found it. <gasps> I just can't believe that I almost. You want yourself. Yeah, but if it wasn't for you. She's holding his hand. <laughs> and after he kills me for telling you this, I want you to throw my ashes off a wickery bridge, okay? <laughs> there may be a way out of this for you, Elena. See, there may be a cure. This is honesty. Telling her they should have told her from the beginning. But we needed to help our friend. Yeah, we helped our friend by handing over another friend. And Chris wasn't. Chris was a friend, Caroline. He's like me. He's part of my pack. All he wanted to do was be unsired by that disgusting piece of. I agreed to go on a date with him. It's a bit random. What the hell is going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. I think that too. We're still saving a spot for Mr. Saltzman, huh? Sam I'm in the market for a new drinking buddy? You're not qualified. I know that you don't like You're me. never qualified, you know, Matt. Her dad knew that Professor Shane guy. Which wouldn't be creepy, except he had all that info about the hunter's curse. And we live in a town where 
You know, anybody who knows stuff is creepy until proven otherwise. You're on the verge of impressing me. Drive it home. He called it ten times. The office of Professor Atticus Shane. Kind of clingy. <laughs> did your uh, did your friend Damon? Did he get everything? As if Matt put it all back together. Yeah. Completes his mark. You're gonna want to come to me. No. I don't trust. I'm it. gonna be the only one who can help. Trust me on that, okay? Nah. I trust the Klaus over you. Uh, screw Klaus and his secrets. We all want the same thing. You just have to. Work Why did it take Damon telling her for you to say that? You should have told her yourself. Lately, it seems like he's able to get through to you in ways that I can't. You listen to him. You can admit it. The girl that I was when I died on the bridge. And I love you so much for wanting to find this cure. Because I'd like nothing more than to get her back. Who I am. What I want. What you want. Or who you want. Oh my god. Wait. between Damon and me. Much more than it ever used to be. It's like... It's like everything that I felt for him before I was a vampire. It's been magnified. Your feelings for him have been magnified. And they're gonna break up. I understood why you cared for him. I mean, I, I practically drove you to it. True. But now... I can't do this, Elena. Well, it's not like she can, like, turn off those feelings that have developed. Not anymore. Well, that was The Vampire Diaries, Season 4, Episode 6, titled We All Go A Little Mad Sometimes. Um, I'm glad that Damon actually fessed up and told her. Like, I don't understand why they were just keeping it from her. Like, he made the smart decision and then, like, Stefan's like, oh, screw it. Why not? Like, who cares now? Like, you should have been the one to tell her. And, like, his comment about, like, I understood why you felt for him because I practically drew you to him, but now I don't, I don't get it. It's just because, like, I don't understand. Okay, so it's like... She developed those feelings over the course of you treating her shit, right? And Damon was there to pick up the pieces and, you know. Those feelings are not just going to go away just because you're together. Like, I said that at the end of last season. Like, she chose Stefan, yes. But that doesn't change her feelings for Damon. And the fact that he's like, I don't understand... Essentially, he's like, I don't understand why you feel for him now. She can't just be like, she can't just turn off her feelings. That was a silly comment. Um, it was a little bit sad, the fact that they've broken up, I guess. But, again, I'm not really a Stellina shipper. And, yeah. So, this whole date thing... With Caroline and Klaus, that was a bit weird. Like, what a weird thing. Um. Yeah, I definitely saw some Buffy parallels there. Um. Which I discussed already. I don't know why I'm bringing it up again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh-oh. Uh -oh.